Hey Explorers, it's Jessica and today on Exploring the Local Life I'm going to show you everything I have in my kitchen. So this is going to be an RV gear kind of tour uh, showcasing uh, what we use in our everyday life. So as most of you know, we are really big into coffee. So of course we have to have some coffee gear. Now we don't have um, any uh, auto like coffee makers or anything like that. We did start out with a Keurig, but it took up so much space. We got rid of it really quickly. And what we replaced it with, it's our trusty mocha pot. Now we have two, we have this little one and we have dun, 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 a big one. Okay, so this is how we uh, make our coffee. It's a percolator and it makes espresso, espresso. And so to go along with our coffee making fun, we have this awesome little milk heater. So we will uh, do our coffee on the stovetop and then we will add milk and sugar, almond or regular milk, and we'll make it here. And of course, we gotta grind our beans, right? So we have a fairly inexpensive little coffee grinder. This is it disassembled as three pieces. Literally just add the beans, push a button, and it grinds them for us because we like to have our nice fresh roasted coffee beans. And along with that, we like to froth up our milk. So we have a little coffee frother. And we do have a couple of appliances that do require electricity that we use fairly often in our house. The newest addition actually is a little teeny tiny waffle maker. Um, and that's because we kind of got tired of getting Eggo waffles. Um, the kids love waffles. Breakfast is one of their best meals for getting them to get really good, good food for the rest of the day. So we invested in that teeny tiny little waffle maker because it takes up very little space and really uh, does what we need it to do, which is just make waffles for the kids. We also have a rice cooker and here it is. It's a little teeny tiny one. Robert and I are the only ones really that eat rice, so this works out just fine for us. And I know some people really swear by their Instapot and that's fantastic, but you know, we don't really have a need for that at this point. I could just see it kind of like taking up space in our pantry and not actually getting used. So that is why we currently don't have one. We know that it can make yogurt and rice cooker and total meals in there and everything, but I don't know. Um, I know it's different than a crock pot, but still I had a crock pot and it was just a disaster every time I try to use it. So I've just sort of skipped it. At one point I may change my mind and go ahead and get one, but we'll see. For now, uh, just having our little rice cooker works just fine. All right, so I showed you our waffle maker and our rice cooker, but of course we use other things, regular pots and pans to make our meals. And this is like our little assortment here. You know, got a little tiny pan bigger pan with lid, two pots, big one with lid and a little tiny one that doesn't have a lid. I just move them around interchangeably. And then a really big pot for when we make pasta. And then this really, really uh, well used and well loved uh, pan here for the oven. So, you know, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, that's not a lot. Those are pretty small. You're a family of four. Yes, we are, but you know, our kids don't always eat what we eat. Again, like I was saying, breakfast is usually our biggest meal of the day, our best meal of the day. And for the most part, we've got waffles, pancakes, bagels, bacon is usually our meat of choice for the kids, not me, I don't eat bacon. Um, so, you know, this assortment actually works for us, even when I make like pasta, um, and I make like a meat with it and the sauce, you know, we have a three burner stove. I've got three We have enough here to make all of that stuff So we are pretty minimalist, but it works for us and we haven't had any issues with meal preparation or anything like that Even with just a small assortment of pots and pans that we have Okay, now in our kitchen. We also um, We don't have a lot of storage space So we needed a place to put all of our utensils and cutlery and things like that. So what we ended up doing was getting this bar installed here with some hooks for some of our larger cooking utensils. And then we have these smaller um, cylindrical whatever containers where we have our cutlery that we use and then some of our other utensils. And they hang right here, it's all stainless steel so it's easy to clean and it keeps everything um, out of the way yet handy. So that has worked out really well. And um, for our oven, 
we have little oven mittens, of course, and you might be like, why are you showing me this? I'm just going to show you everything, just to give you an idea. We only have two. We have an oven glove and then the silicone one. They've worked out really, really well for us. And behind me, you see this um, dish rack. Sorry, my brain went <laughs> numb there for a second, or blank. So we got a stainless steel one. We had a plastic one from Ikea that was a little bit smaller and that worked pretty well for a while, but then we were like, Ugh. I don't know, it was kind of like because it was plastic, it seemed harder to clean. It started getting a little grimy and we were just like, let's see if there's something else. So we found this and we've really liked it. Um, it'll hold a lot more stuff than the other one. It's stainless steel, so um, you know, you don't have a lot of accumulation. Yes, this is plastic here, but you know, it's less plastic than the other one had. And then we just have a simple um, drying uh, mat here for them. We change them out. We have two, or we have, excuse me, we have one set like drying mat for dishes. And then I just use like a random um, towel um, when this one isn't used. And I just rotate them out so that way um, they have a chance to dry out. And um, that way it's just not gross, basically. Okay, so one of the first things that we actually bought for our kitchen was, as it says, beer snob here. This is a bottle cap remover because we do, on occasion, like to drink some craft beers or unusual beers. Um, I know I made that video about being a Christian. It doesn't mean I can't have a drink every now and then. And in addition, we also have this, which Nadia decorated. If you ever leave anything near Nadia or if you ever meet her, you will know that she likes to decorate everything. So this is our wine uh bottle opener that we've actually had forever since we were married this is like a from our gift registry we still have it so we have those items um because we do like we like our coffee and we also like teas we also like wine and craft beers okay i'm really high up here <laughs> to show you up here so this is like our really main uh, storage cabinet for um, our dishes and things like that and I know I've shown this to you in other videos where I've um, you know shown you about RV storage and also um, in some of my organizational videos but I wanted to show it to you again because this time the focus is gonna be like how much stuff we have in here so I'm gonna open this without falling down <laughs> so um, as you can see, we have a couple drawers up here, I mean, shelves up here because, you know, these are way too high. So that helped us with storage. And we have these little um, containers for obviously storing food in our refrigerator. We have all of our coffee mugs because, well, we drink a lot of coffee. And as you can see, even though we drink wine, there's not a wanna wine glass in here. We did have some wine glasses when we first started out and guess what? They all died, as did almost every single um, glass. <laughs> any type of glass that we had. Uh, yeah, they all have died in some way, shape or form. So we just kept a lot of uh, mugs here, ceramic mugs, they have survived. Um, we do have a couple of these um, that have survived. I'm trying to think how many of them died or if we gave them to my mom, I don't remember. But anyway, you have these. Um, we have a few uh, travel mugs because hey, well, we travel and we like to have our coffee. So we have those. Um, course we have one measuring cup that's right one for all of our needs we don't need any more you don't need any more if you have a really tiny place like really not necessary and then we have um, just regular dishes we have um, four uh, four plates like big ones we have four little ones and then we have four bowls as well and these are the coral ones we had some regular ones from our house and yeah they've all died in some way shape or form we had a few um, rough drives where our cabinets did actually open and they fell and to totally shattered um, we do have these um you know technically they should not um open up i know a lot of people use um, budgie cords or something to keep them shut we don't do that um it happened like one time two times maybe where they opened up so you know we we just haven't worried about it but anyway we started out with like four big plates four bowls and four small plates of the other kind i don't remember what they were because we've had them we had them forever um from our previous house um yeah and then it just got to a point where i was like i can't actually serve a meal you know like i can't fit a dinner on a tiny plate like i just can't do it so we finally bought some corrals and so far um, they haven't chipped and we haven't had any issues, but we've only had them for about two months. So I'll keep you posted on that. Okay, so my other camera ran out of battery and I need to finish this video. So I'm using my phone now. So the video quality and audio might be a little bit differently.
different. So let me finish up my little tour. Um, we finished up in the cabinet a little bit, but I brought down a few items that I had in there that might seem, you know. So we have a cutting board, which of course everybody needs in their house if they're going to be cooking at all. We only had the one from Ikea. It has worked really well. We had it before we even started RVing. We just brought it with us. And then we have this awesome rolling pin because Robert does make from scratch uh, desserts, including uh, cinnamon rolls, and he needs a rolling pin. And when these aren't in use, they fit very nicely in the back behind all our practical stuff that we use all the time. Uh, something else that we have that um, has really helped us out is just a paper towel holder, no big deal. Also from our old house, we just brought it along. Nadia has decorated it because like I said, she likes to decorate everything but it keeps our paper towels right here. We don't have any problems with, um, I know some people have some that they hang and then when they're driving, it totally gets undone. We haven't had any problems with it being vertical. Um, it's great um, and it doesn't really take up that much counter space for us. Sometimes we have it in the kitchen, other times we have it on our table and it has worked out really well. And the last thing that I wanted to show you was just this regular mixing bowl that we actually use it to hold um, some of our fruits and um, yeah, we don't have a basket or anything like that. We Again, we just keep them in here, and that has worked out really well for us. And it's easy to put away during travel day, as are all of our items. Everything does get stowed away when we do uh, travel. We don't keep anything on the countertops. Um, yeah, we put everything away in drawers or in our pantry, and that has worked out well. well. I hope this gave you an idea of some of the things that you might need when you start RVing for your kitchen, or if you are on the road now and you're like, oh my gosh, I feel like I have so much stuff, or maybe I'm missing something, or what does somebody else do? Well, this is what we do as a family of four that has been RVing full-time for three and a half years. Uh, things come and go a little bit, but this is pretty much our standard uh, complement of kitchen gear and items that we use every day in our lives. I hope that you like this video, and uh, leave a comment or question below in the comments. Give us a thumbs up if you really enjoyed the video, and of course, hit the little bell to subscribe, so that way you can be notified and catch all of our videos when they come out. Thank you so much. Bye.